Field of Pomerantz Night in America, Week 9. Before Week 9 began, at the top of the hill stood three teams we've heard about all year, led by Paola, who once had sole possession of first place. He slid back to 5-3 and three following a humiliating loss to the bad guys, allowing the viruses and two live Jews to catch up and reclaim a tie for first. That left one slot left, and you won't believe your eyes, representing the west side. You can kiss his Irish ass. It was Lucky Charms at 4, 3, and 1. But he wasn't comfortable at all because nipping at his heels just a half game behind were five teams led by the Weasels, who had lost three of the last four. And Yonkers. Once on the rise, they took a step back in week eight, slipping to 500. The cumulative point leaders, the bad guys, were also at 4-4. Four four. They've been able to score a lot, but have lost some close games. And Abracadabra. And Shala wasn't finished with his stealthy tricks, sneaking up on the playoff picture. Finally, don't look now. The Fuckins were stalking not only a playoff berth, but also the cumulative title. He's looking to do the entire league yet again. Somebody stop the fuckings from fucking us. In the topsy-turvy season of tosses and turns, week nine threw us for another loop. First place Payola down 28 points going into the Sunday night game against the Bald Eagles was relieved to get just that from Aaron Rodgers to score a tie, 88-88, the second in the league this season. The Bald Eagles were not happy about it, though, needing the win. Meanwhile, the Buckins continue their surge, and for the first time this year, entered a playoff position, going to 5-4, and four, porking two live Jews in a lopsided win, 104-67. to 67. That left the door open for the viruses, who showed lost in Yonkers the way home on Monday night, claiming sole possession of first place again. The viruses still have an outside shot at the cumulative title as well, while Yonkers is next to last in the queue. His hopes stake solely on the playoffs. He slips to 4-5. and five. And what about Lucky Charms? Like Fibrous Cereal tends to do, they exit the playoff picture as quickly as they entered it, dropping their game against the weekly winner, Enchila, who scored 113. With the charms going down, that made room for the Weasels, who weaseled their way back onto the playoff scene, gnawing away at the leftover Knishes tossed in the trash. Following the defeat, the Knishes fired head coach, Moishi Phillips. And what about the cumulative leaders, the bad guys? Well, they continued their bad head-to-head play, losing to the husbands, who were so pumped after the victory that they made up their mind to ask out that 18-year-old Nick City dancer. So the playoff picture at the end of Week 9 looks like this. It's the viruses quarantined at the top, and now Paola bribing his way to second at 5-3-1, and one, with two live Jews, Enchila, the Weasels, and the Fuckins, crammed into the last two playoff spots. Lucky Charms is just a half game behind that, and Katie's husband's bad guys and lost the Yonkers just a half game behind that. I've never seen anything like it.